Alrighty guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. So in this video, um, we're going to start working on building it so we can add comments to our posts. So at the end of the last video, we had everything working perfectly. We had all the styles looking pretty decent. And when we logged in with Twitter, it would work and everything would go perfectly. Like that. And then we can add something like Google. Google, and then just do like a https colon slash slash google.com, and perfect, everything would work, we can add the votes, and all of this is reflected back in the Firebase. Alright, so now what we're going to start to work on is actually make it so we can add comments to our posts. So the first thing we want to do for that is just totally nuke the Firebase, delete all the content, just because we don't want any of that interfering with what we're going to be doing. So we'll jump into our brackets and we'll go right into the app.js and start with a new function. I'm just going to add it right after the delete posts. So it's going to be scope dot, uh, we could call it add common, I guess, because that'd make sense. And it'll take a function and then it'll take inside of this function tab, it'll take the post that we're currently on as well as the comment text. So we can just open up the squiggly brackets, and then of course we want to do if auth, if scope .auth data, just to make sure they're logged in before this, and then we can just do an else statement real quick, and just do, oh, uh, you need to be logged in before doing that. So with that, then we have the else statement. It can make sure that they're logged in. And then the next thing we want to do is create a new reference to our Firebase. So we can do var ref equals new Firebase. And then it's going to go to this URL. And then it's going to do plus post.id because we need to get the post ID. And then finally after that, we're going to add plus, and then we're going to add slash, or a backslash, I guess it's called, and comments. So then it will create a subsection under our post ID for comments. So the next thing we want to do inside of that is do var sync, just to actually initiate the Firebase. Firebase, oops, and then we can just do a ref. And sweet, just like that, and then we can do, get the... Get, actually get the things inside of the comments scope dot comments equals sync dot as array so we can get all the comments as an array and then with that simple as that we can just add a new func or build the scope dot comments let's make that scope dot comments and as simple as this then we can build a new dot dollar sign add and with this we can build a new way to add our comments so inside of this what first thing we're going to do is get the user so the user is going to obviously be scope dot auth data dot twitter dot username not a semicolon i've messed that up before and i don't want to mess that up again so the next thing we're going to do is just add the text which will be comment dot text and just like that, we should be good to go. So we can jump over into the main.html and right before the login with Twitter, but after the posts, or actually, I take that back, we actually want to be in the posts because there's going to be the comments for the posts. So after this, we can just do a few line breaks. Then what we're going to do is we're going to jump right into a thing where a, di a div where we can start to actually show this all the comments so we can adding a few bootstrap classes we can just add a few bootstrap classes so this will make it a look a bit more beautiful and so we're going to repeat comments in comments so then inside of this we're going to do another class, and where the class is going to be panel-body. And then, 
besides that, inside we're going to do A, and then we can do ng-href. This will just give us a link to the Twitter username pro or Twitter profile. So we can do twitter.com slash and then open up the double squiggly brackets or braces. And then this is just going to be comment.user. And then inside of this, we're going to actually have the same thing, comment.user. So then we're going to open up the panel footer, which outside of this div. So this is going to just be simple like that, div with another div, and this class is going to be panel-footer. And then the footer is going to be comment.text. And we can see that we named everything just like this text and the user. So it's all correctly named because we don't want to mess that up because that would really stink. Because that gets frustrating and then it's like, oh, when you finally realize what's the issue. So you can create a new form and then inside of this we can just do a div for some bootstrap classes. And this is, in our case, is going to be input group. So the input group in our case is just going to have one input and the input is going to have an ng model of comment.text and then it's going to have a class of form-control and then I'm we're going to make a button group or a group button and then class input dash group dash button and inside of this we'll have a button not with a capital N and then for the ng dash click the ng click will then be add comments oops so the add comments is going to run the comment function with the post and the comments and so we can just name it add comment. And just to make it look a bit better, we can just do a class button and button dash success. And if we did this all correctly, we should be good to go. So let's reload the page. And it's never a good sign when it doesn't load. Oh. So, on line 76, apparently, we forgot, oh, of course, we forgot an equal sign. Sweet. So, let's log in, and we can just use our normal Twitter. It'll take us back to the application, and then once it takes us back to the application, what we can then do, let me just clear this, is then we can create a new one. I'm just going to do Microsoft in this case, and then we can do http microsoft.com and we add a new one, and now our forge is the same. It still doesn't have a comment, but then what we can do is do cool company, let's say. We can add the comment, just like that. It prints out cool company and it has our Twitter username and it even gives us a link to our Twitter profile. Cool. Let me just get this console out of here. And just like that, we got the Twitter working as well. So let's jump into the forge and see what's actually going on. So inside of our ID, this is the random ID that's given to our post. Then we have a comments, and inside this comments, then there's another random ID, and inside of that, there's the text, and then there's the user. And you can see the text is cool company, and the user is me, hcjk underscore.